Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, welcome back to the podcast. guys. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to swerve off the road as I'm trying to put in silly, uh, silly applause. Uh, I hope everybody's enjoying your weekend. Uh, crypto is, well, crypto is what crypto is. Uh, we're, we're entering the, uh, the new flat cycle and, uh, it gets, it gets tough, man. It gets particularly tough for the cosmos. Now I'm going to start with, uh, with positive news because you, you, you know, I, I don't even consider what I say FUD, man. I consider it reality, but, uh, I'm going to start with positive news and then we'll kind of move through everything else. Uh, I'm supremely confident in my, in my current portfolio and my investments. I am incredibly heavy in D-Pen and not as heavy in AI as I was. I realized an awful lot of profits, man, at fetch it $5. Come on, that was a gift. Uh, but I, I, I still dabble in the AI. I, I, I still have some. I still got some Ajax. I still got some, or a singular. I still, get, I still have some fetch. Uh, but I'm mostly uh, jackal, a cash, kudos. And, uh, and that's about it, man. I'm, I'm supremely confident in my investments. Because because these are monetized products and because you know how they actually earn their revenue for some reason in crypto i know i've said it before man but repetition repetition is key uh the bulk of these things out here are simply not monetized and there's really no path to monetization now you feel it really really bad anytime bitcoin goes flat you really really start to feel it and you notice a subtle bleed off on effectively every cosmos token that's out here all of them all of them you will feel that bleed off because these are all proof of stake they're inflationary they're still pumping out the tokens and even though they do not consider emissions as expenditures they are absolutely expenditures that's why when we get anybody on the show i ask them flat out man look how much did your chain earn how much did you spend and they always come back and say well we didn't spend that much and i go to their validator set and i just add it up i'm like yeah you did You are paying out all of this money and it has to come from somewhere and it comes from your from your bottom line so whether you want to accept it or not uh it's a fact and each and every one of these tokens are so tied together right through osmosis more than anything else tied right through osmosis that when osmo does what osmo can basically can only do the entire ecosystem the entire cosmos network feels it with the occasional outliers, but they bloom, they gloom, they don't last, they move on to whatever's next, and there you go. Now, the the messaging is starting to change a little bit. I find this hysterical, by the way. I'm going to be dining all over this. Uh, the the messaging is changing from your big uh, your big influencers. Influencers. Uh, there, it, it's uh, you got to stop with the fud, and we all have to celebrate everything. Well, I'm not going to do that. Not because I don't want people to be successful. I continue to do what I do, trying to spread a little knowledge, a little insight, a little experience, hoping that people do well. But I don't uh, just do it because I, I get paid to do it. I absolutely do not. We lose our ass on this. Me and Bell lose money on this month after month, but we keep cranking it up. I'm not gonna embrace that. I'm not gonna embrace that philosophy because I'm not gonna sit here and celebrate what I consider a bad product, what I consider something that cannot be monetized, something that is gonna bleed investors, something that turned the investor into the product. Now that is 90% of Cosmos. There is no product. The investor is the product. How much money can we get out of his pocket, into our pocket before this whole thing just collapses? So no, I'm not gonna climb on that kumbaya train that will never ever happen and if something sucks i'm going to continue to point out that it sucks you pay these people that's the funny thing you pay these these influencers to go out there and and message for you and that's the best thing that they can come up with hey we're going to celebrate everything all is well man if we just stop talking negatively everything will correct that is incorrect it is mathematically impossible for that to happen without a massive influx of liquidity. And when we say liquidity, we mean people coming over here and buying this shit tokens. That is not going to happen. There is no rush for any of that to happen. We got the Bitcoin ETF flatlines now. We got the Ethereum ETF. Guess what? It's going to sit there and hover. That whole $10,000 Ethereum, that's not going to happen. 
Uh, so everything's going to hover. It's all going to stagnate. Everybody's waiting for a rate cut. They basically came out and said already, we're not cutting rates this year. We can't cut rates this year. It will implode everything. So kumbaya and just wait for the rate cut and then all will be well. I could not imagine living your, your entire investment strategy based on that kind of pure hopium without actually being able to look at a product objectively and say, this is how much they earn, this is how much they spend. So, you know what, you do you, bro, your money is your business, but I'm, I'm gonna continue to do my business my way, I'm supremely confident in it, and uh, yeah, I will, uh, I, I'll be ready to just absolutely dunk on it when uh when it works out in my favor so anyway uh that's it guys just wanted to put something out i i enjoy these these little free form ones there's no mic there's no pressure i'm not even looking at the camera uh these are actually kind of fun because i could just go and see where i end up uh anyway that's it questions or comments scott at the podcast.com i answer any and all and until next time please stay safe and please be smart with your money cheers